plaintiff, Timothy Cuppins, says soon after he began dating the defendant, she became extremely controlling. Timothy suing his ex-girlfriend for unreturned property and emotional distress. Defendant Julie Cockage says while dating Timothy, he became deathly ill with a heart condition that was a result of excessive drinking. Julie claims she nursed Timothy back to health, but after being sober for a while, he went back to drinking and using drugs. She's countersuing for rent. Start with you. Okay, Your Honor. Uh, uh, met, met her through a friend. It was fine and then uh, came a bit controlling uh, on her behalf. Uh, couldn't couldn't go to the bathroom without being asked or how long I'm going to be in the bathroom. Couldn't play my drum set. I couldn't watch TV uh, when I got off work. And if I did, What it would was, she say? Uh, well, we're watching Judge Judy. I can hang with Mathis, but That's Judge right. Judy? That's right. <laughs> right? Uh, so that became an issue and, and, and I was being controlled. I couldn't, you know, I... How long did you all stay together? Well, under these it, was, it was going on for I don't know a year, year and a half. One year, you yeah. allowed her to control well, you. Well, it, and... it got worse, and then I, I would go to work. I mm -hmm. went to work, and unfortunately, I, I got a hernia, and uh, they said that uh, you're going to have to go to your pre-op for the hernia. I go to pre-op, they find out that I've got cardiomyopathy, which is a, a swollen um, heart valve mm -hmm. in the heart, and that I would be off work for months to have the pre-op, I had to have the thing healed so I could have the anesthesia. Long story short, uh, in that time, I, I, I asked her if I could, if I could stay there. Uh, she said, yeah, being my boyfriend, it's not a problem. Okay. So in that time, I, I paid her, uh, made a payment on her, her homeowner's insurance, uh, car payments <coughs> twice, her car insurance twice. What was the agreement on rent? Because she's countersuing you for rent. So well, sounds luck. like there you're was, trying to kind of go around was, that already. There was no signing, no nothing, no agreement of anything. I was just there was no, no signing. There was no contract for me paying rent or nothing. Did you all discuss rent? Did we discuss rent? Yes. We discussed uh, we discussed money that that I could give Pardon? her. Pardon? I I gave her money that I could give her when. No, when, let's start know. over. Did you all discuss rent? Yes. Okay. And what was the end of that discussion? Where is there an agreement at the end of that discussion? I know there was no contract written. I know all that. You told me I that. I said I could pay her what I, what I could pay her. Okay. And how much have you paid her on I've, rent? I've paid her everything except when I got injured and had to go when I was out of work for, for the surgery. And how much was that? I'm not sure what the amount was. Okay. Well, I'm sure she's going to be sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get to you. You give me some background, then we'll get to your property. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. When I met Tim, I was so taken by him. He's funny and, and, and handsome and, and just wonderful. And I fell in love with him immediately. Um, I had just come, out, come off of a 14-year, uh, very physically and mentally abusive relationship. And, um, and I had even told Tim that if he ever laid a hand on me that I would have to kill him because I wasn't <laughs> going to take that anymore. And um, I allowed him to move in with me um, after about a month of knowing him mm -hmm. because the place that he was staying at, his friend's house, was too small and, and uh, I was under the assumption we were going to start a life together. And, um, and so he moved in and he said he would work hard to find a job. Within about six months he had a job. And, um, and, but he had lived for six months without paying me anything. I paid for everything. Had you all discussed him we, paying you? We did several times during that, that as soon during as he got During the first his, six months? Yes. So what was the agreement? The agreement was that it was going to start out at $500 a month. Rent. Okay. That first month? No, when he got his job. Mm -hmm. then, then he would start paying me rent. He didn't get the job until about six months into it. Okay. And I'm not asking for rent for the first, first six months oh, that, okay. that he lived with me. I understood he wouldn't be able to pay me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that was fine. Um, but it was after when he got his job that I expected him to, to start paying rent. What months did he fail to pay? We're we on your rent from, now. This from is your counter August, mm -hmm. From August, August of, of what tw year? 2012. Mm -hmm. and, and that was right after he lost his job. Mm -hmm. And uh, until May of 2013. Those are the only months I'm asking for. 
All right. And when you've discussed it in the past, what has he told you? Well, what happened was when he lost his job mm -hmm. and he became very ill mm -hmm. and, and we thought he was going to die and, um, because his heart was that bad. And they told him that he would need to, to quit drinking and, and quit doing the drugs. Mm -hmm. And he did for a while. And they said it came from drinking and drugs? It came from drinking. Mm -hmm. All right. So he, he what are you saying me. regarding that? He really? promised me in the hospital. I, I lived in that hospital with uh -huh. him every night. I stayed there oh, with I him. Oh, I got that. And while and, you and were staying there one night and he was in bad shape and having his heart worked on and barely living, like you said, you thought he was going to die, within all that time, you said, what about that rent? He put, no. <laughs> okay, well, no. So that's what we're talking about. No, no. well, what happened? No. What happened was, is that, that during, during all that time, um, I, I told him, I said, you know, as long as you do right by me. Did he agree to pay you? Yes. All right. Yes, and afterwards. since yes. then, what has he said? That he would pay me as soon as he got his um, either unemployment or okay. his workman's compensation. And you didn't accept in. that? And I did. I would wait for it, yes. And has he? Uh, he has gotten his unemployment, okay. as far as I understand. All right, um, and, and has not paid you. And has not so, paid me. All right, me. that's what we're saying. Okay. Get to your uh, property, sir. Okay, you your, your honor, for? first of all, I've tried to come over there and pay her the money. I got workman's comp, right? Said it was, oh. they weren't going to pay <laughs> she me. She refused it? So you, she wouldn't let me on the property. Three, four times I've tried to get a hold of her over the phone. I've uh, told her, hey, I've got your money. Um, can I come pay that? I had a go kart of hers. I had her car keys, but I couldn't give her any money because she wouldn't let me on the property. Okay, so that's your defense. You couldn't give it to her. You got it today? We'll slide it right over. What's that? <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? She wouldn't let you on the property. Today, we're all here together. She just slide it over today. Well, that was, a, that, was that day, Your Honor. Oh, you don't have it anymore? <laughs> uh, okay. She, Let's she get to the personal property you're suing her for, sir. <laughs> Uh, she kicked me out. Mm -hmm. uh, when did okay. she kick you out? Uh, it's been, I don't know, about seven months ago. Do you know the month and the year? May. It was May. Yeah. Okay. She okay. kicks so, you out in so, May. so she kicks me out on the street and takes my uh, flashcards. Why did she say my, she was kicking you she out? She threw me out because uh, I, I didn't pay her Capital One bill. I paid her car insurance, her, her, her homeowner's insurance payment. So I said, I said, look, I've paid this, this, and this. Property, and you're, and you're, sorry, property. She's got my drum set. Mm -hmm. She's got my, uh, my electronics, my flashcards. I lost my mother, and my dad died in June. She has my, all my f photos of the funeral in California. You have a list? It's emotional, huh? You have a list? Yeah. I mean, I've got the stuff here, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, what I could get, what they're worth, I, I didn't oh, get that. But thank you. Here's the medication. It's just I know I know more about your evidence than you. <laughs> you fiddling Here, around deputy. and dog season and snatches it right out. There you go. All right. Yeah. And she's deputy. refused to give it to you, sir? No, no, I don't need that. That's the door stuff doesn't work for you. That's the stuff All right. <laughs> So not true. She's withheld it? All the stuff, so yes. Not true. And when you asked the last time, what did she say? I said, I'll bring your go kart over and your keys. And she said, nah, get off my property. Okay, call good the enough, man. So I said, don't worry. I called oh, the cops true. already. The cops show up. Okay. They go to the door. I said, you got your hands full. She talks through a crack in the door, right? He's got his, doesn't know what's behind the door. He's got his, ready to hit his weapon out. He says, you got your hands full, man. You better go to small claims. Ma'am, he says you withheld his drum set, his fishing gear, his tools, yep. and his so, bike. So not true. From the first day that he moved out, which was in the uh, very beginning of May, um, I sent him an email saying, what do you want me to do with all of this stuff? And I said, do you want, do you want it now? And he would write me back saying, no, I can't take it now. There's not enough room room over at my friend's house. I'm in a little tiny room. I have no room for my drum set. I have no room for this, no room for that. How long did you keep it? I kept, yeah, I still have it, some okay. of it. Oh, good. You can <laughs> go and get it. it. She still has it. Right. And I'm going to order you to give it to him. Your emotional distress is for what? My kicking me out on the street. She threw me out that night. Uh, said, get out of my house, get off my property. <laughs> gotcha. Unfortunately, I'm not convinced. And I'll give you 30 days to give him his property. Yes. And secondly, sir, with regard to the unpaid rent, she was very clear on the amount you owe. You agreed that you owe, but you were unclear about how much you owed. And as I said, I'm sure she was going to be very clear, and she has been. 5000 for the counterclaim for the rent. And I'll order you, you to give him his property within 30 days. Good Absolutely. luck to you both. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> Woo! Yeah.
I still love you, regardless of what you think. You're happy now? I'd be happy just if you could just, whatever. Still love you, Tim. Loser. Still love you. Tim refused to quit using drugs and drinking. And, and I loved him and I wouldn't, I wasn't gonna, I told him I'm not gonna stand there and watch him die. He was killing himself and I wasn't gonna be a part of it. I love him. Drugs and drinking, she, no, I didn't do drugs. She drank like a fish just as I did. I drank, yeah.